Retro Gaming scene oh, here. Yeah. Oh, uh, there you go. Scene here. Yes. It's um, it, pretty great. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, oh boy. This is going to be interesting. Oh. We have Edric back on the stage against Calvar. I do not know who sent Calvar to losers. Um, but let's see how this goes. I mean, based on what we've seen already, man. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to call it too soon, but Edric looks really strong in this matchup right now. Well, that's, that's the thing, right? Calvar had he played uh, Infinite Numbers for so long. That's true. So he's also really good Oh, you good mean Rich matchup. Boy Rich, the oh. box player. No, no, he played Infinite Numbers. <laughs> oh, right. Who's the, now retired. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and now we have Rich Boy Rich. Now we have Rich Boy Rich. I'm a huge fan of Rich Boy Rich. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is, you know, we are in New England though, and so Calvar does have the home home field advantage up here. That's true. He's more powerful. He is more powerful. He's wearing his New England melee shirt. He's also I, I've uh, I've only played him in tournament one time, but I've played him in some friendlies here and there, and he's got like a an interesting take on Marth, like the way he. The way he places moves is different from what you normally expect. So yeah. it, we might see a little bit of an adjustment period from Edric. Um, Edric caught on to, to Pew Pew very quickly. So yeah. I'm curious to see whether he's able to do the same here on Calvar. We are seeing, sort of seeing, you know, although Calvar is using platforms in a similar way, it's still very different like, how he's using them. Yeah. Oh, Calvar's like, I have the lead, 8%. You come to me. He's willing to challenge Ice Comms, uh a little bit more, because he knows that. Oh, whoa! Oh, there was a phantom in there. <laughs> What's he doing? Okay. He's dead. Yeah, that's it. So I was gonna mention that he's willing to use down tilt more, which I was gonna mention that could be risky because Icecrime do have an option to beat down tilt, which is for a forward yeah. over it. I I've been a proponent of the not platform camp be Marth in this matchup for like a year and a half, because I used to platform camp, and then I lost to Diz really badly at Genesis Four, and I was like, I need to rework this matchup. Oh. And I basically didn't lose to ICs again until until this year, like really recently. And now I'm rethinking it again. Now I'm like, <laughs> like, should I be on the platforms? <laughs> but dude, down tilt is one of one of the most uh, uh, negating moves for ICs as a character. Oh yeah, any wave dash character. Yeah, which is pretty much ICs and like Luigi. Yeah, ICs and Luigi. Yeah. And even the even ICs forward air, which is you know conventionally the counterplay to Marth's down tilt. If you <laughs> if you use, don't space your forward air perfectly. Marth's neck actually has a hitbox that can anti-air Icy's oh, forward air on the really? down tilt. It's so funny. <laughs> They're like, I got you with the forward air, and you're like, I'm just gonna use the same move. <laughs> you're still not gonna work. Oh, there's that drift. Calvar playing really nice right now though so far. Definitely different from PPU. Yeah. A little more aggressive, which like I said, is oh. is a little more how I like to approach this matchup. Because it's one of the things that, uh, why not bully the character that your tools are designed to, essentially, right? Yeah, exactly. Put them in a, you know, obviously you don't you don't have to actually deal with the climbers as much if you don't want to. Yeah. But your tools are so strong for it that... Ooh, I, I like that up B, actually. Yeah, that makes so much sense. And Nana is dead! Ice Scrimmers can't follow up on that with anything meaningful. Yeah, because you, you escape to the top platform, making this a really great stage for, uh, for Marth. Oh, the hell smash. I wonder oh. how I wonder how Edric and Pew Pew started on Dreamland, but these guys are starting on Battlefield. I guess maybe Edric had first strike against Pew Pew and uh, came down to these two stages. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, he almost got grabbed there. You see, Edric trying to force his way and trying to find a good timing, but uh, Kalvar's wall is just very difficult, very different. He's playing. He's playing really nice. Really like what I'm seeing. Oh, and, but yeah, dude, that's the, that always gets you because you get grabbed and you're like, Nana's all the way over there. She's not going to make it. She always makes it. <laughs> Start mashing. It happens to me. All, it happens to everyone, man. Like, <laughs> uh oh, it's always mash. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. He's been missing the elf smash a little more and more. Yeah, uh, he, he DI'd in. He was reading the DI away. If, if Mart's not jumping out, you can get like a pivot re-grab there. Oh. You might not even need a pivot, I'm not sure. I go obviously I go for the pivot because I'm a nerd. <laughs> Hell yeah. <But. laughs> you be proud of that. Man. Yeah. Being a nerd melee? Yeah. It's cool. It is cool. It's, it's a nerdy game. <laughs> melee is like the coolest nerdy game though. Yeah, for sure. Especially if you're a Falco player. Oh, I love Falco. Yeah. Getting gipped at twenty is really cool. Uh, 
It's like it's uh, like skipping class. Like you know you <laughs> like you know you shouldn't do it, but you're like every once in a while I'm gonna let myself get gimped just so I can be like, yeah, I'm a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. I play Falco like all the other cool kids. I'm not laser camping. I'm not laser camping. I'm running at you. On, I'm, I'm approaching the corner. I died at 20. Come on. And, and that's how you lose to ventricle. <laughs> he throws you off the stage. And you get down tilted. Down throw down. <laughs> the classic. The classic. Okay, so we're seeing Edric. He is more willing to chase platforms, um, which is kind of weird because it's a worse stage for him, right? Yeah. Uh, we saw him being relatively unwilling to on a. Uh, yeah, and it is dead anyways. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. You that's that's where you have to make a judgment call where he saved Nana. It's like, do you want to risk taking big damage for getting Nana back and maybe having her die anyways, or do you want to just go all in on the on the the Sopo and try and punish Marth for trying to kill Nana. Yeah. He decided to go for the Nana save. It did kind of work out. Uh, he ended, ended up get, eventually getting a Swallheimer mix up. Yeah. Which his drift has been so good. Yeah. So why not try He's it? the master of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're also seeing the up thing on from Calvar on this stage too, which makes sense. Yeah, I mean, this top platform isn't as high as Battlefield. Um, which could I, it's it actually makes it a little bit worse. It's easier to get up there with the up smash or with the up B. But it takes longer to recover. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing out here, Ash? <laughs> Relax, man. Nana will mean? come back. She respawns every 13.5 seconds, right? I think you're thinking of a different game. Dude. You're too ready for ultimate. <laughs> you're way too ready for I'm ultimate. I'm studying Rosalina. <laughs> I'm ready. I, I've seen your tweets. I know you're thinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, want, you want to lab it because yeah. you're a nerd. I am. It's great. I, I want to learn this game, man. Whatever. Melee is cool, I guess. <laughs> Formerly the, the Smash God, not just the Melee God. Exactly, that's what I tell people, thank you. Oh, there's the grab. It's gonna be Ultimate God this this December. Fifteen. Wow, that, that sounds way more medicine than Smash God. <laughs> ultimate the God. Ultimate yeah. God. Oh my. Hey man, uh, 14 weeks and 6 days. Wow. Yeah. I'm keeping track. Yeah. There's a, you guys can't see it, but there's a bunch of small like cut like nicks on his arm. And he's <laughs> counting the days. Oh down. no. <laughs> there's not actually. I got a sharpie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that for, like, for autographs? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> not for keeping track of uh, when the new Smash game comes out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Calvar has been once again. He's playing it very very solid. <laughs> he's um. We saw him practicing those pivot smashes during his hand warmer, and he's been using them to pretty decent effect. Yeah. Uh, we saw one, a good one in the corner when uh, Edward was chasing him down with the wave dash. He just got a quick after smash. Yeah. Position. If you if you grab one of the climbers and you forward throw, uh, a lot of times their DI will get mixed up because they'll bounce off the other climber. So pivot F smash just works even if they're DIing, quote unquote, properly. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. I know also because Nana doesn't DI, you can she get against the tipper yeah. some of the time. Yeah. Ooh. I do really like how Calvar is playing. He's uh, he's got the lead. He's sometimes like he's making the time the tempo hard for Edric to catch on to because Edric approaches with the wave dash shield and then Calvar doesn't swing. Yeah. Then he re oh. he he readjusts and uh, moves up to the platform rather than throwing out a down tilt or jumping or with a fair. He's making Dreamland work for him. Yeah. Pew Pew, are you taking notes? <laughs> <laughs> PB is taking notes on Calvar, and uh, Papa's taking notes uh, on, on Edric. Edric. Yeah, they're just like, oh yeah, it's great. <laughs> Zane's in the background shaking his head. He's <laughs> like, I taught you better than this. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. If you guys have never met Zane in real life, he's really mean. Oh. He's a bully. Uh oh. You can definitely tell by his demeanor, like he just bullies people. Is that, it's a, he's got the really big bully smile. Bully know? smile. Yeah, that, that's what they call it. <laughs> When they smile really big and shake your hand, it's because they're bullying They're you. very nice to you. It's, yeah. This guy's a bully. <laughs> exactly. I know it. Oh, 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 the bounce. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I think I, I, think I could have down it with that. But. Ouch. One thing that's also really important, it's, you know, even though, you know, Calvar doesn't necessarily... Oh, oh. oh the Squall Master. <laughs> Come on. Well, that was after the Squall Hammer. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Not dirt. Yeah. But uh, getting enough damage on the ice climbers, getting different damage on the ice climbers, allows you to separate them harder off of the straight hits. Yeah. And then you can do you know, stuff like that where Nana's way off stage and Edric has didn't go that far. Dude. Oh my God. Calvar is playing this matchup so well. Oh. oh. He does not want to play your games, Edric. <laughs> he didn't care. So is Edric his real name? Uh, I 
collection? I don't think so. I don't think so. Edric is like a nerdy thing. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure it's not. <laughs> I can't. I still have to make sure. Isn't Edric the name in uh, Full Metal Alchemist? Oh, is it? Edric and Alphonse? I think you're right. I, I, I'm i bad at watching things. Oh! <laughs> Alright. The reverse All right. attack. <laughs> So he still has just, mana. Just needs two grab. Okay. Uh, a grab. Oh! oh! Oh, I wanted him to combo off of that so bad. Okay. Nana is okay. dead. Yeah. Better tried, though. I like that F smash charge you went for. Yeah. All right. We need the Sopo stock of legends. Honestly, though, if, if I were Calvar, I'd get on the top platform. I'd be like, you have two and a half minutes to try and <laughs> take off this stock. But he wants to close it out. Yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe you're changing his mind a little bit. Yeah. Maybe he heard me. Through those headphones, those <laughs> yeah. The PXs. Yeah, our our mics are feeding directly into their headphones. You didn't know that? Oh, well, we're talking uh -oh. directly to the players. Uh oh. How about <laughs> blink once if you can hear me? Yeah. He blinked. Uh, he blinked. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> up throw. I like the up throws. Yeah, it's just taking time. Yeah. Taking down the clock a little harder. Yeah. I mean, I, what is Icy gonna do? Like drift to ledge? That's the same as if you had forward thrown, except oh. except with more potential for damage. So pretty interesting, like uh. Well, the different way that Calvar played that matchup, uh, he made he made it feel a lot more oppressive. Yeah, a, a lot harder for Ice Climbers to, to do things. He was a lot more proactive than yeah. than PPU was, um, which I, I'm definitely in support of. I, I definitely think the the proactive way is the is the way to go against ICs. But I think he did a really good job of mixing in when he goes to the platforms um, instead of just staying on the ground. Yeah, it was it was good. He made it hard for Edric to to call anything out, and when Edric started trying to call things out instead of calling things out with a move he approached with shield which you're not really going to get that much off of there's Especially, like yeah there's like some things you know if you hold shield and down you can get ACA down down tilt something yeah but then you Sometimes. have to like be wave dashing out of your shield yeah uh that close to marth and if marth just does double down tilt like you just you take two down tilts <laughs> and then you reset to neutral there's two of them yeah so i mean that matchup matchup's definitely hard for ICs. uh army is playing it the best right now yeah like sure. the, the way that his uh, if you saw my set with him, I rewatched it and like my perception of my set with him was like, okay, um, my my perception of that set with him was like that I got bodied really bad and I was towards the end, but at the beginning it wasn't too bad. I just got so so taken aback by the wobble setups that he had. Yeah, like yeah. he did a desync to have Nana do a short hop back air into Popo grab. Yeah, yeah. Just Nana do the back air, and I'd never seen that before. There's a actually. There's like some case. Okay, uh, my friend Rise from the Midwest, R Y S E, he had uh, some tech he showed me from another Ice, ice Climbers player. Uh -huh. Where if you actually do that desync off a pivot uh, and hit down a hit shield, the grab is guaranteed on shield because you're locked in shields on the entire time. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, it's not that hard. It just pivot back here essentially. Yeah. But it's like there's also small things like that that we don't get to see that much. Yeah. Um, because it's hard. Right? Yeah. And Ice Climbers, there's other ways to play Ice Climbers which are less uh, demanding, I guess. Well, less precise. More, uh, more like, just basic fundamental mix-up yeah. based. More macro, which, which is more like the Chu style. Yeah. So we're gonna have some oh. stats coming up for you guys. Uh, highest death. Ooh, this is this is cool. This is uh, provided by Meta Scouter, which is average damage per second for Edric is oh. 19. <laughs> I mean, that has to be from wobbling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is uh, some really cool. Uh, the, it uses a uh, computer vision, Meta Scouter. That's really cool. To, to, yeah, information. I did not know about this. It's a uh, Shooting's new project. It's a, I guess it's a big blue thing. I'm not sure if it, it directly correlated, whatever. But yeah, so we see some inform interesting information. Metascouter.tg, and it's all visual. Uh, it, yeah, it looks at the screen. That's awesome. Yeah, it gets the raw feed and takes information from that. That's which is awesome. really cool. Man, they had uh, at the New England Invitational. They had these really cool graphs. Um, which are, I'm assuming take a little more time. Yeah. But you got to see like when the stocks were lost during the game counter and things like that. Ah. Oh, so stock. like like a like a time series. So it shows the stats over time. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. It was a lot of, lot of lot of cool things uh, coming out of Metascouter. So check it out.